Welcome to Code Jungle. In this video, we will discuss about DFS or Depth First Search Algorithm. DFS is a recursive algorithm which is commonly used in traversing graphs or trees. This algorithm starts at the root or the source node and goes in a specific path or branch unless and until the branch ends. Once the path or the branch ends, it again backtracks to find an unexplored path and then explores it. This method continues till the whole graph or tree has been traversed. In this video, we will discuss about DFS algorithm for trees. As far as DFS algorithm for trees are concerned, there are three methods that is pre-order traversal, in-order traversal and post-order traversal. In this video, we will be discussing about pre-order traversal of DFS in trees. However, we also have another video for DFS for graph as well as DFS for trees in in-order and post-order traversals. A link has been given below in the description box for the same. So to begin with, we are going to use this specific tree for pre-order traversal. To begin with, we will start with the root node. Here, the root node is displayed in the output as well as at the same time is pushed into a stack. Next, the system checks that which is the topmost element in the stack. Here, the topmost element in the stack is 1. So, again, the system checks the leftmost child node for this particular element. Here, the leftmost child element for this element is 2, hence 2 is included in the output and at the same time is included in the stack. Again, the system checks that which is the child element for the topmost element. Here, the topmost element is 2 and the leftmost child element for 2 is 4. Hence, 4 is included in the output and at the same time it is pushed into the stack. Similarly, Again, the system will check that if there is a child element for 4 or not. As there are no child elements for 4, hence 4 has been popped out of the stack. However, nothing has been included in the output. Again, system considers the topmost element of the stack. Now, the topmost element of stack is 2. Hence, system checks the next child element of 2. Here, the next child element for 2 is 5. Hence, 5 has been pushed in the stack and at the same time it has been displayed in the output. Now, again system checks the topmost element of the stack which is 5. Here, again system will see if there is a child element for 5 or not. As there is no child element for 5, hence 5 has been popped out of the stack. However, nothing has been added in the output. So, here, there are two things which are considered. If for any specific element which is at the top of the stack, there is a child element, then that child element will be included in the stack and will be displayed in the output. If the topmost element doesn't have any more child element, in that case, the element is popped out of the stack. However, nothing is being included in the output. Now, continuing the same pattern, the next element in the stack is 2. Now, again system will check if there is any element for 2 or not. Now, there are no more child elements for 2. Hence, 2 is popped out of the stack. However, nothing has been included in the output. Now, again the topmost element in the stack is 1. Now, system will check the next child node for 1. Here, the next child node for 1 is 3. Hence, 3 has been included or has been pushed in into the stack and has been displayed in the output. Now, system will check the next child element for 3 as 3 is the topmost element in the stack. So, the next child element for 3 is 6. Hence, 6 has been included in the stack as well as in the output. Now, system will see if there is any child element for 6 or not. The reason for this is because 6 is the topmost element in the stack. Now, there are no child elements for 6. Hence, 
6 has been popped out of the stack and nothing has been included in the output. Now the topmost element in the stack is 3. Hence system will see if there are any other child elements for 3 or not. Now the next child element for 3 is 7. Hence 7 has been included in the stack as well as in the output. Now as 7 is the topmost element in the stack, we will see if there is a child element for 7 or not. As there are no more child elements for 7, hence 7 has been popped out of the stack and nothing has been included in the output. Now again the next element in the stack is 3. So we will check if there are any more child elements for 3 or not. Here there are no more child elements for 3. Hence, 3 has been popped out of the stack. Next, the topmost element in stack is 1. Again, we will see if there are more child elements for 1 or not. Again, there are no more child elements for 1. Hence, we will not include anything in the output. However, we will pop out 1 from the stack. With this, the stack is over and hence the algorithm stops. Also, if we observe, there are no more unexplored paths in this tree. Hence, the tree has been traversed using DFS method for tree order traversal method. That's all for this video. Link for the source code for this algorithm is given below in the description box. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and do comment, share and subscribe to the channel. We will be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching.